22, Big 550 KTRS. Jason Nathanson, uh, ABC News entertainment correspondent, is uh, hopefully his hangover is uh, oh, si finished since the Grammys last week, getting ready for the Oscars. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Jason Nathanson. From one hangover to the other, that's how I roll. Uh, there you go. <laughs> All right, but before we get to the Great Wall, real quickly, uh, 20th Century Fox, can they apologize any more for this fake news site, fake news stories <laughs> promoting a real movie? It's so bizarre, and in this day and age, of course you want something to go viral and you have all kinds of marketing to hit millennials and stuff, but 20th Century Fox, for this movie, A Cure for Wellness, which is this weird Gore Verbinski kind of psychological horror thriller, they they their uh, effort to get this out to the public was to set up a bunch of fake news sites um, like the New York Morning, Morning Post, the Salt Lake City Guardian, the Houston Leader, the Sacramento Dispatch, all with uh, articles about uh, one of them had President Trump secretly meeting with Vladimir Putin, uh, another about Trump saying he was going to ban vaccinations, another saying women were going to be shamed, uh, publicly shamed for abortions. And uh, a lot of these actual, uh, all these stories would link back to a site for the movie, but a lot of them actually made it into mainstream news articles uh, and, and publications these days because, uh, you know, it's hard for people to, I guess, to differentiate between the fake news and the real news. Right. Um, so 20th Century Fox, uh, they were criticized heavily, heavily for this throughout the week. Um, and they kind of stood by it until yesterday, which they said um, that, uh, yeah, this was this was really bad. <laughs> we're really sorry. This does not meet our standards. Um, we're you know, we're never going to do anything like this again. Uh, you know, we screwed up. Right. Is 20th Century Fox. Is that a Rupert Murdoch company? Yeah, that's the movie arm of uh, the Fox Empire. Right, mm. yeah. So, so <laughs> oh boy. All right, there you yeah. go. There's a story for you. All right, so uh, you're here to talk about The Great Wall starring uh, Matt Damon. What do you think? Yes, lucky me, here to talk about The Great Wall. So this is, if you saw the poster, you would think it's Matt Damon builds The Great Wall, which is not what this movie is about. This is a crazy kind of monster movie. It's a popcorn summer movie that we're getting in February takes place in the 11th century and matt damon is kind of a rogue mercenary kind of guy he's uh, wandering around the world looking for weapons and black powder so they come upon china and they come upon the great wall where the the, the chinese are trying to defend the wall and their country on the other side of it from these monsters that come out to feed every 60 years or so um and it's it's crazy. I mean, it's just a ridiculously stupid type movie, but because it's got Matt Damon, somehow it actually works. It's a lot of fun. If you go into it with really low expectations, <laughs> your expectations will be met, um, but you'll actually maybe enjoy it. I mean, it's fun. Matt Damon's good. He, he's a movie star. He can carry a movie. Um, and so that's why I think this works so well, because, I mean, it's really stupid. It's really, really stupid. Um <laughs> And there, it does suffer from there. Were, there were talks about whitewashing um, uh, about uh, six, seven, eight months ago when the first posters and stuff came out. Uh, a lot of people thought it was about, you know, oh, this white guy comes in and builds the wall. And, you know, that's not really you know, what happened. It's changing history. Um, and those concerns, I mean, should be alleviated because it's not really about that. But I will say this. The white guy does come in and is kind of a savior uh, for the, you have this huge Chinese army, uh, which is really well uh, practiced and they know what they're doing, but they kind of need the white guy to come in and help them beat the monster. So that's a valid criticism of it that I think some people might have of this movie. Uh, but otherwise, you know, that's reading way too much into it. Just go and enjoy the monster. Sounds like my dating life. Low expectations, and it's really, really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but those ex those uh, expectations might be met. Uh, and that's exactly right. Because, yes, yes, you know, because the women have such low expectations of me. Yes, exactly. that's exactly right. All right, exactly. Jason Nathanson, next week we'll talk to you uh, about the Oscars, which is coming up a week from uh, Sunday. Uh, how come... Where are you on La La Land? Do you love it? Do you like it? Where are you on that? I I was one of the lucky ones who got to see it really, really early on, before the hype. Right. So mm -hmm. I I really, really, really enjoyed it. Saw it for something special. Saw it as this throwback. Didn't have a lot of expectations putting on it, went going in to see it. So when I saw it, I was like, wow, this is this is a lot of fun. This is good. This is something we kind of need right now. Right. Um, I was. So I, I. I just saw it. I was shocked with the ending. I mean, uh, did I miss the hype about the ending, or? That, 
No, the the ending is the, the ending is it. The ending's the key, and right. that's also one of the divisive things which take people to whether or not you know they they really really like it or really really hate it or find it to be um, a very sad movie or a very uh, or or it's a happy ending. Right. That's yeah. where a lot of <laughs> a lot of uh, a lot of the discussion is in. But there is you know a backlash. Did, now, did you like it? I I loved it. I hated the ending. I hated it. Okay. But 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 I hated it, but I loved it, but I was brokenhearted at the end, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Right. And that's and that's a valid criticism, but I think um I don't you know, even I don't even know if it's a criticism. I liked the movie. I was just brokenhearted at the ending of it. See what I'm and saying? And that's good. Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, I mean that's what this stuff is supposed to do. It's right. supposed to move you in right. some way. And if it did that, it accomplished what it was what it was trying to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So all right, we'll talk more about it next week. Jason, have a good week. Thanks for for checking in. You too. Take care. You got it. Eight twenty eight. Big five.